Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USDJPY for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist on my channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo start of USDJPY in front of us right now. Generally, I prefer to keep my chart clean, but I'm extremely sorry I had to draw these lines. So do not be confused. I'll be explaining them uh, one by one so that you can understand the market well. Okay, so let's try to uh, go through these lines or let's try to do the analysis first. Okay, then we'll be jumping to the strategy part. So first and foremost, I'll be coming down to this uh, 109.75 level again. As we all know, this level was extremely important for the market because this was the level that belongs to the weekly chart. 109.75. 109.75 was acting as a strong resistance for the market. Then it started acting as a strong support for the market. And right now you can see that market is still trading above this level. So therefore, the validity of the ones of 109.75 is still there so this will be your support for the market again unlike the previous times okay the this level is losing its strength because i have clearly explained in my earlier videos also that whenever you see market testing a level too much whenever you find market testing a level too much then the level loses its strength and this market has been uh, testing 109.75 for quite some time therefore this level has also lost its strength or losing its strength because when market was trading here around here i clearly told that you will be seeing market breaking this level because market has been testing 109.75 for quite some time and after that you can see that market saw heavy selling pressure so therefore market is still trading above this level so 109.75 is still there in the market as a support. If you want to see, then I can show you on the weekly chart. This is the weekly chart of um, USDJPY, and you can see that previously for two months, for two months this level was acting as a strong resistance for the market. And when market cross here, and the same like a level has turned into support right now, and you can see that this week market has formed a pure hammer pattern which means that sellers tried to take the price downward but buyers were there in the market buyers were present and they did not like the price and they pushed the price as a result the validity is still there 109.75 is still a valid support for the market previously also you can see that whenever market was going down 109.75 successfully successfully um proved that it has still the capacity to hold the market as a strong support therefore keep in mind that 109.75 is still a valid support for the market and apart from uh, this this support level we have got another support right now and this trend line is acting as a dynamic support because you can see that here here and here market is testing or market is taking support at this trend line so in case market fails in case market fails to take support at 109.75 then it is taking support at this trend line so this is our support one and this is our support two and you must also draw these lines in your charting platform so that you do not miss any important opportunity on the chart of usd jpy so i'll request you to draw these lines Okay, so this is your support too because you can see that whenever market is coming down after breaking the weekly support level it is reversing from here only therefore this trend line is also a valid support clear these two lines now we'll be jumping to the double top here sorry this line ah sorry 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 <laughs> hundred and ten point five eight so this is the resistance for the market in my earlier videos also i have clearly mentioned that 
this level will be acting as a resistance for the market and you can clearly see here also you can clearly see here also that this level is trying to act as a resistance for the market because when market tried to go up here market face resistance market face selling pressure market came down again when market tried to go up again the same level provided resistance to the market so therefore this is a resistance for the market and right now you can see that market is in the middle market is in the middle and therefore as i always say we should not trade in the middle we should not chase the market do not chase the market let the price come to you so if you go for a buy here then your stop loss will be here your stop risk to reward ratio does not match and if you short the market here also then also your risk to reward ratio does not match so this is your no trading zone you should not trade in the middle clear so wait for the market let the market open on monday and see where the price goes in case it goes down okay in case it comes down or goes down then just observe the market or price at 109.75 level if you see or if you find market bouncing from this level then you can easily go for a buy at this particular level 109.75 you can go for a buy at 109.75 level on the other hand if market goes up from here if market goes up from here then there is a good possibility that market will be facing resistance at 110.58 or 110.55 level so if market faces resistance at this trend sorry at this level here then you can also short the market but but uh, remember confirmation should be there confirmation will be in the form of a shooting star pattern red candle like this once you get the confirmation that market is struggling near the resistance you can short the market you can short the market and easily enjoy the profit lastly you can see that i have also drawn a red, red line here okay uh, this red line is not a very strong resistance but still i have drawn it okay if you do not want to draw then you, you feel free not to draw what i'm what i've done here is that because as market was uh, following this support here i was just trying to see whether market is following a channel or not okay. because, and i found that yeah there is a small difference between this price level so there is a possibility market may reverse from this trend line also and this trend line can be drawn by joining the these two price levels because here you can see that if i join here you can see the market went up and there was price rejection from below if we join the wicks or the shadows of the market then instead of this straight line we get this red line this trend line therefore you can also draw this trend line and there is a possibility that instead of reaching this particular level here market may reverse from this trend line also are you getting my point i'm just saying that instead of reaching this particular level 109.58 level market may reverse from this trend line only in that case you can also short the market here so these these are the important lines for you this is your first important line this is your second important line and this is your third important line and this may or may not be there in your chart it totally depends on you here and if we go to the forex sentiment meter here then you can see that 78% retail traders have taken short position and 21% retail traders have taken long position which means that retail traders are mostly thinking that market will be going down and they have already taken short position and see market may go down from here i'm not saying that but still you should not be you should not be uh, flowing with the river you should not be followed you should not follow the herd market may go down but still right now it is in the up, uh, upside upward direction and as we all know 90% retail traders lose money they lose money because they fail to follow the trend of the market right now still market is going up you can clearly see on the chart so do not right trade right now wait for the market to open on monday then only trade take a trade after following the direction of the market with your proper analysis clear so this is it hopefully you have understood see you on monday again thank you so much bye bye take care